If you are a sinner, this liturgy is for you. And if you're not a sinner, don't even waste your time with it. But the bigger a sinner you are, the more you're gonna like it. Salve Maria. Ordinary Time opens this week with a fantastic liturgy, the conversion of St. Matthew. Our Lord passes by him and says, follow me. And he leaves everything and follows our Lord. Why? Because he recognizes that he is a sinner. That's why he gives everything up, all that he has stolen, he gives back. He calls our Lord for a banquet to his house and confesses his sins publicly in front of everybody else. But above all, he confides in the mercy of our Lord. Because our Lord himself says, those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Our Lord is the divine physician. And that's the secret of conversion. Recognizing that I am a sinner and then confiding in God's love, in God's mercy, in the mercy of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, above all by the intercession of Our Lady. There are in fact two ways of rejecting God's call. One is to say, mm, I'm not a sinner. No, I don't do anything wrong. It's not wanting to look at myself, not wanting to see my defects. Another way of rejecting God's call is to say, well, yes, I have these defects, but Jesus loves me. After all, he said, follow me. He passed my way. He's so good to me. He gives me good things. I don't need to change. Saint Matthew didn't do either of these two wrong things. When our Lord says, follow me, he did give up everything and followed our Lord. And he also recognized that he was a sinner. So therefore, the great lesson of today's liturgy is that it does not matter where you are, but it does matter in what direction you are going. You could be a great sinner, even a terrible sinner, but as long as you want to start changing, starting off with a good confession, and then prayer, above all to Our Lady, the Queen of Heaven and Earth, the Mother of Divine Grace, as long as you go in the right direction, you can expect the greatest of God's mercies, all of his pardons, and the best of graces till you reach the apex of sanctity. The problem is that you never say no on the way. You need to continue recognizing every single day how much you are a sinner and how much God is merciful to you. Every single day, this is still wrong in my life. It needs to be changed. Ah, God will give me the graces for it. And every single day, starting off again, trying to fight against your defects, trying to get better with the help of grace, prayer and the sacraments. Let's ask the grace for a true conversion, a continuous conversion, an efficacious conversion by the intercession of St. Matthew, above all by the intercession of many most holy. And by their intercession, may the grace of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain forever. Have a wonderful 2024.